Howdy, lieutenants and economists. The most volatile, evil, disgusting things on the planet, humans. If you have a video request, you can always go to assholeconsulting.com. Yeah, I am gonna charge you, kids. And that is the importance of not fucking up. You are such an asshole! <clears throat> Strap yourselves in for this one, lieutenants. Dear Aaron and fellow lieutenants, I'm a repeat client who has requested several videos in the past who is seeking a new career video for my current situation. I'm in my second year of college in terms of college credits. In a past video, I said I was going to go into accounting and IT. However, due to transferring schools, a family move, wanting a more physically active career, and I lost an interest in IT due to global outsourcing issues as well as a newly gained interest in other steps, subjects like chemistry and physics, I am not taking that route any longer. Instead, I am taking a seven-month break from academic college, of which, as of now, I am doing totally online with two accredited universities in my evenings and on weekends, so that's the way to do it. <clears throat> to get my welding certification to become a welder, my plan after this on returning to school by distance route is to graduate with a Bachelor of Science in Applied Mathematics. I prefer this route as I will have some computer programming classes, accounting, finance, and economic classes, all for my former degree. Combined with some chemistry and physics classes with lots of applied engineering style math in between, it amazes me how people could say they don't like math when it opens so many doors, especially since my degree comes with a consulting project. My ultimate goal is to, after welding for a couple of years, is to become an inspector and then later either a welding engineer or become self-employed in the trade by opening a small business. I am very happy that I will have a trade as well as a white color skill in case something happens to me. Everything is great so far. I just need <coughs> advice on my next steps. One, you have mentioned welding in the past and just want your official opinion on the trade. Is this a good trade to study? I chose it due to liking in high school and some past experiences from that. You have only mentioned it indirectly so far. I do like welding <coughs> and the trades in general. Um, but keep in mind especially as it pertains to welding. Welding, you'll make a, it's a fine salary for two years um, worth of school. Uh, you'll, you'll, you'll make about $40,000 a year. However, the sell, selling point of welding is if you're willing to go to other places, then you can make a lot of money. So if you're willing to go on the oil platforms over in the ocean, if you're willing to go out on a ship and repair it, if you're willing to go up to Fort McMurray where it's colder than fuck, um, or mines, uh, then the, the, the salary does increase dramatically. Now, keep in mind with the collapse in oil and commodities to a lesser extent, uh, demand has been going down. So the data that I found on welding is like, yeah, if you're the local welder at your local shop, you can expect to make junk, all right? Not, not junk, I should say that. <clears throat> you're not going to do as bad as some idiot with their master's in English, okay? That's certain. You'll make enough money to live. But... If you're willing to drive and go to, to dangerous places or places people just don't want to go to, then the money, that's where it still really starts to come in. What are the best opportunities to pay for welding in North America career-wise? I'm Canadian, but I'm okay with move, moving. Well, where are the best opportunities and pay for welding? Dude, I can't answer these questions if you don't write them correctly. Where are the best opportunities and pay, oh, and pay for welding in North America, career-wise, I'm kidding. I, the best opportunities are your Fort McMurray, uh, Prudhoe Bay in Alaska. Um, that's where I'd recommend. Uh, you know, to, again, or your oil platforms. Australia could go out to the mines, uh, but that's that's why I recommend. What are the best skills apart from accounting one would need in order to start up a business in the welding trade? I'd say a little bit of IT. Uh, definitely accounting, a little bit of IT so you can like maybe at first set up your own website, web development. Um, but beyond that, I would, once if you ever do grow, you're going to want to have a, a good IT guy or gal because of security reasons. So that's <clears throat> that's what I would do. And accounting, maybe a little bit of financial statement analysis. But yeah, that's that's really all you need for business because I know, I know business schools like to tell you that business is difficult. No, it's not. You really don't need it. Just accounting and you're pretty much good to go. What is the best way for someone with a related STEM but not engineering specific science degree to become a welding engineer? Well, uh, what is the best way for someone? You go to a school and you get your four-year degree in welding engineering, of which there are several schools. South Dakota School of Mines, Colorado School of Mines, a couple of places in Canada. Uh, but that's what you have to do. You have to go to those schools and get your degree in welding engineering. I with, 
That's saying, I with the college I am with, I cannot get a better option that is still STEM related. I have some research, but I find that Canada is snobbier than the US in this regard, that you need a specific engineering degree, mechanical, industrial, metallurgical, etc. I need to be with this college for the convenience. No, dude, you go to where the fucking degree is offered, okay? You either get the degree or you don't. None of this fucking, oh, I need to live with my parents or all this other bullshit. Either go to the school where the degree is offered or don't. And they are right. I mean, all a welding engineer is is the dude that keeps the machinery that you use to weld going. You know, and maybe there's a little bit of structural engineering as well. Like, okay, uh, you know, how are we going to weld this facility? How are we going to weld this ship? So it will help that you have uh, your welding certificate and you actually are a welder. But an engineer, you, you basically, yeah, become a mechanical engineer, an industrial engineer, or a metallurgical engineer, and then specialize in welding. If you want specifically welding engineering, then you're going to have to go to those few schools that offer that program. Um, <clears throat> what is your de opinion on a degree in applied mathematics? Um, if you want to get your master's, it's pretty good, but uh, applied mathematics, it, it's, it's certainly a good degree, don't get me wrong. But pretty much every job you're going to get is going to need further specialization. So when you're looking at what do you do with a degree in applied mathematics, will you become an actuary, a statistician, uh, <clears throat> a computer programmer, or something like that, or a modeler, or a quant, or a big data person? Well, fine, you can major in something general like applied mathematics, but then you might as well just be majoring in you know, an act actuarial science, statistics, computer programming, big data, or computer modeling. Uh, I would not bother with applied mathematics. The only thing that I saw if you want to major in applied mathematics is you get a master's in it and then you're starting to become like a PhD where you become a quant and then you're paid a ton of money. All right, but, and they do make great money. I mean, median salary was 111,000, but this, this assumes you got 10 years experience so you probably have your master's, all right? And on top of it, what the fuck are you doing now going to go to applied mathematics when you wanted to get your degree in welding engineering? You're all over the fucking place. You need to fucking focus. What are the best careers in math? Uh, well, they're all pretty good. You're in the ballpark. <clears throat> I would say teaching is probably the lowest paid one and the most worthless because you're not doing. So I would be looking at something applied again, like being an actuary, being a statistician, being a computer programmer, being a quant, being a modeler, going into big data. Big data, I think, is actually going to be one of the better fields to go in. Or you could just be a mathematician, in which case you're working for a government program and all that. But dude, fucking hell, become a welder first and, and see if you get food on the table, all right? I, I, you, you are like trying to digest so much bullshit. Uh, including a PhD in one field, a bachelor's in another. You don't know what you want to do with your STEM trade, and you haven't even gotten your welder certificate yet. Calm the fuck down, get your welder certificate, become a man, and support yourself. Then, after you get your welder certificate, become a welder and see if you like being it, going into welding. All right? See if you like metallurgy. You know, learn a little bit about yourself before you decide you're going to become an astronaut and then a veterinarian and then a cop and a fireman and a general in the Army and the Air Force and then you're going to be a boat builder and you're going to do a crochet and then you're going to become an electrical engineer and no, no, you're all over the fucking place. Baby steps, dude. Uh, lastly, could everyone in the community respond to my questions in the format one, two, three, four, five, six? Yeah, what? The community? You just hit 40 different communities, dude. <laughs> you. Sure. So, I mean, yes, people who are welders, please, for those of you who are welders and have you gone on get your certified welder inspector, which is like a managerial welder, right, for a lack of a better term. For those of you in the welding industry uh, and who also happen to be in the math industry, we'll just say, if you could provide him some guidance below. But, yeah, my guidance to you, kid, is you got to fo fucking focus, all right? Focus. Because none of this shit's going to matter if you change your mind every three months. Well, now I want to do this. Now I want to do that. Focus on one thing and finish it. Okay? That's all we got. Toodles.